Hello and welcome to another new world video. This time I'm going to show you an human potion farming route. Now this will cover every single beetle that is available in the game and you will have enough at the end to craft one of those potions and you will be conveniently placed at the end where you can just use this potion and farm some bars so you can be done with this thing in just 10 minutes, 15 minutes if you do not have much AoE. So we start in Reekwater right near the elite zone for the elite farming chest route right here so we are at the top right corner here and don't want to follow the bridges that lead us to the chests but underneath between the alligators so we are going to sneak a lot now we are standing in front of the bridge that leads us to the elite chest but we want to go left past those well routes and after all the pathing we are at the blight moth right here now when you open your map you'll be able to see most of the blight moths right here and here. There is a lot of soul worms right here and alligators. We don't see any yet, but that will change. As you can see right around the corner, there is one elite one. Now we are standing in front of those alligators right here. They don't have a large leash range, so you usually can just crouch in front of them and they don't notice you. And if they notice you, you can run away without any problems, at least here. So we don't want to traverse through this part, but around this tree. It's very difficult to get past this alligator and not get noticed. So we run around on the left side. As you can see, no alligators right here, except one right here. And when we stop here, we see there is a one blight moth here and here. And we can grab those by sneaking by on this right side of the tree. And you should be f completely fine when sneaking. As you see, they don't notice you. It's very easy to do. And very safe to do. Just wanted to showcase you this. It's very easy to get past those alligators. I will mark every single moth, every single soul worm on this route. And we'll get to jump to the next interesting point in this video. We are now right past the worms. Right here, there is three here on this spot here and there is a lake we cannot traverse on this part but we can go around this part and get the spine fish right here as you can see in the horizon there is another package vortex for the event when you want to farm it it's right here on the spot but that's something entirely different so we just follow the lake around this parameter and get to the spine fish right here there is another Azov spring right here. There's a few scattered throughout. I will mark them on the map, but they are not up that often. It's usually also not worth it to grab those because they go for rather just a few gold pieces, coin pieces, nothing to write home about. So we are at the next spinefish. I grab this one and start the spinefish part of the route up to this point and traverse the river here. I will be right back with this point. Now this part of the route can be dangerous, there is a few elite enemies right here, so we need to take care of this by just going over these boats, these boats, and we are now at the spot we can traverse. So you need to find this bush, it's left, or depending on, on your view, it's between those two waterfalls and you need to target this spike here. And we are done, we are on the other side, someone already picked up those. So, see you at the next spot, right here, when we traverse this waterfall. Now, after grabbing the last spinefish, we are underneath the arena, right here. There is one lightning beetle here and here, but we cannot grab those because they are up high on the cliffside. But we can traverse this waterfall by just going to the bridge. It's a broken bridge. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Now, we are at the next spot, right here, Earthshell's all over the place they are very easy to get i picked this one clean without recording so the apologies but they look like this so just four if you don't get the right amount of earth shells you can pick up those two someone picked those up before me so i didn't have the opportunity to grab those but if you don't get your earth shell right here you can always go to the eden grove spot right here there's like eight around this part so we are now at the third spot. The third spot is for lightning beetles right here, here and here. We are going to gather some honey, honey trees for bee wax. Bee wax goes for quite a lot. So they are pretty damn low in the underground. So on this route, 
And the other ones are on the other side right here. I'll show you shortly, but those are the trees. There are quite a few of them. A large honey tree. We'll get a one and then move on to the other lightning beetles. So for BWAX is 25 coin on my server per wax, so 100 coin just from this one tree. Now the second one is right here and the third one is over here behind those trees, as you can see on the map right here. So I will skip those trees. There is also a bit of iron ore here, so you can gather this on the way out. It is quite a lot of money, but if you want to just gather those beetles, take those and run. So we are now at the second lightning beetle spot. There are two possibilities. You can go this way. There are, there's one here, one here, and one here. But those enemies will just swarm you and it's a pain in the ass to get those. So we are focusing on this one and there is two more here. And there is another spine fish here. So I will show you all of those. The first one is right here. The second one is right here, right over this cliff. And the third one is down here. So we got this one. And we got three lightning beetles. So we run over to this bridge and jump down right here. And here is the next spine fish. Next we cycle around here, go to the settlement and teleport to the top part of Weaver's Fan. Because there is a lot of fire snails right around here. So we are now at the fire snail spot right beside the wolf. It doesn't attack us. So we are now midway through this route. There is two snails here and here. But they sometimes do not spawn because of breaches that can spawn on this side of the map. So you just skip those if the breach does appear. And just move up this road through those trees. So we are now finished with the snails. We have two choices. We can either run down this road up to this outpost. Or we can teleport with our in teleport to either this one, this one, this one, doesn't matter. I personally like to teleport to this one because I can do my Shattered Mountain stuff right here. And then just teleport to this one down here to grab the next part of the route. So we are now in Eden Grove to the last part of our route. There is a few live moths right here alongside the riverbanks. So like I said, we just jumped down this Waterfall, we do take a lot of damage, but it doesn't kill us. We are now presented with two choices. The first one is to just jump down here to grab some more earth shells if you do need them. Or we can just go down this path following this one to the boss. Because at this point you should have enough life moths already. So here is another one and here is a few more. If you are missing any spine fish or blight moths you can find a lot around in this swamp. So as you can see here, here's blight moths, here is spine fish. Very convenient to get. The enemies here are just level 58. So we are now at the first good spot to farm your topaz gypsum at those bars right here. There is a few of them, as you can see. They spawn relatively fast and are not very aggressive, so you can just pull them with your bow. They do not pose any threat and go down extremely fast, as you can see. Another great spot is located right here on this river bank. There is a few boss here, they have a relatively fast respawn time. Also over there you can also find a few boss. As you can see they respawn extremely fast. So we are now located at the last spot. This one is arguably the best one right here south of Garden of Genesis. This one is well known so a lot of people will be farming this one. There is strange boss all over the place. You can just grab them like this with your bow. and finish them up with any weapon. No preference, mine doesn't have much AOE damage, so it's a bit less effective, but as you can see, very easy to do. Now, I can also recommend farming elite zones, uh, farming elite enemies. It's very effective, very fast in groups, and you will basically always get those 10 topos gypsum without any problems, except when stuff falls through the ground, because there are reports of people getting only 9 out of 10. Topaz gypsum is capped at 10 drops per day, so you're basically not able to drop an 11 one if this one clips through the ground. This can also happen with quest items. I had this happen for me with Justice for Dynasty, the Spearman Chiao shackles didn't drop, so I am basically stuck with this quest. I need to 
redo it. Now that's basically everything. If you like this type of content, make sure to leave a like, leave a sub and comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitch. I usually stream early in the morning in Central Europe, GTM plus one, so around 10 a.m. So if you have any spare time, you can just drop by and say hello. See you next time and bye.